Hi guys. Right, I'm back at the bench and it's part five of the uh, new case prep for the uh, 65 by 47 um, <clears throat> So what I'm going to cover on this one, I think this will be the last um, stage process that I go for for um, preparing uh, new unfired brass uh, or new brass and today we're going to <clears throat> We're going to actually uniform the flash hole. Um, now, before we get into that part of the video, I'm going to show you the uniformer that I use, um, which, like I've said before, is the 21st century flash hole uniformer. Um, and there's a few reasons I like this particular type of um, flash hole uniformer. Um, one of the first things, the sleeve that's on these is a caliber specific sleeve. Okay, um, I've actually put on there 6.5 uh, millimeter, but that is just loose, which t tends to spin around in the, uh, the case so it doesn't uh, gall or anything like that. Obviously if I've attached it to a um, uh, power adapter it comes with the that already attached to it but in particular is the very t is the tip this is the cutting tip um, what I'm going to do I'm going to show you a normal uh, I think it's a reading uh, uniformer and um, I'll show you the two different types of tips that they actually use <coughs> Now this one here indexes off the bottom of the case, so this particular little pilot goes through the flash hole and does not touch that, does not enlarge it or in any way, stays the same um, size. So as it indexes off this flat piece here, um, and what I'm going to do, like I said, I'll, I'll put up some close-up pictures of it. Um, so you get a nice square cut. It takes off the um, the little punched area uh, that, that's raised up, that's raised up above the actual case on the case head there, on the floor of the case. Um, so here's let me just show you this one. Now with this one here, it's more like a drill. We'll actually. That will go into the flash hole, assuming that your flash holes are not like the 6x47, which have a very very small flash hole. But what you'll find, because that's flared out and it's like a drill, you'll actually enlarge the hole a lot more and give it more of a chamfer, um, and not just deburr. Okay, as with this one will actually deburr the total um, I know it's hard for you to really see unless you're actually looking with a magnifying glass which I have done and you will find that some have rolled edges and very crinkly sort of edges and stuff like that on lap of brass um, but this one cuts it nice and flush to the bottom and just stops cutting there okay so let me um, show you a couple of close-up shots uh, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about okay so let me get um set up once you've seen the uh, the pictures i'll get set up and we'll get on with the video okay okay so hopefully from the pictures you can actually sort of see um the ununiformed hole and the uniformed hole using the uh, 21st century pocket uniform uh, flash hole uh, uniformer okay so basically what i do with this you insert it onto there until you find that it's just sitting on the um through the pilot, the little thing comes through the case. Okay. 
and you'll kind of feel it as well so I'll do is take uh, a little can of air give it a little uh, blow out um, I know that you're not going to really be able to sort of see that but you, you get a better image from the um, from the photo I, I put up anyway so what that does like I said it just cuts it nice and flush um, at the bottom there um, I always have a little magnifying glass that I always tend to use and that gives me exactly the view that I'm looking for and just inside that um, and that's perfect. Okay so it's very quick. I know there's a bit of controversy about um, removing material there that some people don't want to take it off and you, sometimes you just need to make your own ch choices. Um, I find with this one, this particular tool, it cuts everything the same, nice, flush, um, exactly what I want from a uniformer. Um, as opposed to using a Reading one like this, um, where it acts more like a drill, where I'm really sort of enlarging that flash hole from the inside um, that's not really what I want um, this one cuts it nice and flush to the uh, case head floor um, and just gives you a slight chamfer in the hole but deburs debur it nice and flush so that that's pretty accurate to me I mean uh, I, I don't see what, what's complicated about that but um, anyway, as you can basically see what I'm doing. I know it seems like it's extreme or whatever, and, I, and I'm probably going to get people that will give me a thumbs down or something, but do whatever you feel. If you don't want to uniform the flash holes and you want to leave them as they are, by all means, do that. Um, I'm hoping that you can see in those pictures the difference that it is actually making. Um, but this is the uh, process that I have on my cases or I do on my cases. Um, You don't have to, you know, follow me or anything. All I'm doing is just showing you what uh, what I do. One more. And that's what I do with my cases. Um, well, that's what I do with my uh, flash holes. Um, 
I feel very confident. I have one for my um, 223. Um, again, calibre specific. The um, <coughs> Uh, I just found this tool very precise. Um, it does what it's supposed to do. Um, uniform the flash hole. Um, like I said, you know, if you, if you don't want to do that, then then don't. Um, but this is the uh, process that I uh, do. I think I must have had this one now for about 15 months now I've been using this on my 223 cases and never had no issues uh, some of the brass is six times fired um, no problems um, a lot of my uh, extreme spreads have been very low with that they've all been very consistent um, if anything the only thing that's really sort of changed Lately is the fact that I've bought a, a, a new scale. Uh, I'm not going to go into that now. It's just a, more of a high grade uh, scale. But um, that's the process I, I do. So really the last um, stage with, um, with this process now will just be, which I'm going to do add on to this video in, in, in just one second. Uh, will be to deburr or because um, we, we obviously we've cut the uh, case mouth to, to get them nice and flush um, and then just deburr and chamfer um, not that these are that rough because the cutter's done a very good job of just cutting them but I shall just give them the uh, chamfer and deburr and that'll be the last stage so let me get that set up and I'll show you that the very very last step of um, this new case prep okay Okay, so the very late, very last step. Um, I mean, this, I know this is sort of part five, but this is kind of. I'm not going to make a part six, um, so I'm just going to add this onto the uh, in, into the video of part five. Um, so it's just so to finish off, um, we've got the uh, case prep trio here, and we're going to apply a chamfer. And deburr, and that's as simple as that. I mean, you've seen me uh, use this before in my other video, but it just does a great job. So that's basically it, guys. Um, like I said, this is the process I follow. Um, this is in, by no means that you have to do what I'm doing, um, but maybe you can take something from what I've done. Um, if uh, you think my procedure is flawed in any way, please, you know, by all means, let me know. Um, but I found that my rounds just seem to be very uniform. Um, and once you get into a process of making doing everything the same, your rounds will just come out uniform. Um, the only thing I will say, make your own decisions on the flash hole uniforming. Um, I'm more than confident and happy with the, with the way that it leaves my uh, flash holes in the cases. Um, like I said, cuts a nice uniform um, base to the base there. Um, and that's my process, guys. Um, so I'm hoping to get out at some point, weather uh, permitting, and uh, shoot some of this new brass so I shall catch you guys on the next video okay cheers now bye